It, okay, the the Sita Kelly pick is like ninety nine percent done. Okay, it's colorized. You guys want to see the latest sketch? Ah, I sh do. You guys want to see the latest sketch for the? You guys deserve it. Do you guys want to see? You guys want to see the colorized sketch? Oof. I should reward you guys. You guys have been so good today. I will reward you with the latest sketch of. You guys want? Tell me. Oh, yeah. Edris, subscribe. Random commenter. Yeah, don't just subscribe. Comment. You got. If you guys tell me you've been good, tell me that you have not only subscribed to the Indian atheist, but you also went ahead and told him that the Atheist Republic sent you, and then I will reward you with the latest sketch of Sita and Kali. Yes, you guys have, have you? Tell me you've been good boys and girls. Yes, 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 sexy Cali. Hell yeah, so... Uh... Okay, I have the colorized version of the latest sketch. Again, no, I'm not the artist. Uh, we hired a really good artist. There, there's some still things that are out of proportion a little bit. This is not the final draft. Not, not the final draft. Okay, this is the co colorized version of the first draft. Okay, so there's going to be still a lot of improvements that is going to be made to it. Hey, Susanna is here. Susanna, and the, Susanna is the person that has been working really hard with the artists. You know, coming up like every all, m most of the details of what I'm going to show you right now is. Susanna's idea. So you have Susanna to thank for this, okay? I mean, you have Susanna to thank for everything. Atheist Republic would have gone, it would be gone by now if Susanna didn't come and save us. So we need Sita and Kelly. You guys, okay, you guys, did you guys tell him? I went, I'm only going to show you guys if you guys told the, okay, fine. I'll just show you guys, okay? See, I'm so good to you guys. All right, let me show you. Are you guys ready? I'm so good to you guys. Boom. This is the latest colorized version of Sita and Kelly. What do you guys think? Do you guys like? Again, there's some changes that needs to be, be made. The, there are some things that there are a lot of things that need to be improved. And I, again, Susanna is right on top of this. And the artist, guys, the artist, like the first sketch that came out, it was like, Almost like wow, amazing! Love the artists that we're working with. Do you guys? Yeah, look, you guys like it? Oof. Yeah, now right. So we're gonna be adding a. I don't know which hand we're gonna be adding a wedding ring. We are also celebrating. Um, we're also like trying to um, help the fight for LGBT marriage in India. So in this scenario, both Sita and Kelly are married. Like they both divor divorced their husbands and they're married. So we're gonna put wedding rings on one of th their hands. I don't know exactly which hand, but that's what Susanna is working on. And you could also see that Sita already has, you can see Sita already has the LGBT flag around her arm. You guys like this? Yeah, you guys like this, hey? Okay, wow, love it. I love, love, mashallah. Nice, Tarot saying, nice. Yes, Susanna is on top of this. Yes, Kelly is looking more booty. <laughs> no, and that, the proportions need to be changed a bit. This is going to ca create a lot of controversy, I bet. Kelly is thick. Yeah, Kelly is supposed to be thick. She's a warrior. She does a lot of lifting. She does a lot of squats. Insha Iblis. What else you guys say? This made Al even Allah cry. <laughs> yeah, but they're both thick. How do we know that Sita? Well, we did... Um, mm, we did like a sari on her, but then we removed it. How do we know it's Sita? Okay, you guys want more defining features that makes it clear that this Sita? Tell us what is, uh, give us some feedback. Give some feedback to Susanna. What should we do 
what defining features that this need to be added on for it to make it more clear that it's Sita? Should we just write Sita next to her name? Any advice? Oh, most of you are saying thick. Most of you are just focusing on this pick is love. <laughs> Tell me, guys. Yes, defining features. What defining features? You have to identify the defining features. I've been looking. I've been looking at a lot of pictures of Sita. Um, you guys have to tell me exactly what. Oh yeah, look the. Oh, you somebody saying a tattoo of Ram. <laughs> that would be okay. That's a good idea. But you guys can see like Kelly has an Atheist Republic tattoo. Do you see that? You guys notice that, right? Just like the first art that she had. I wonder if Mohammed. <laughs> Aaron saying, give a, give Sita a Jai Sri Ram tattoo. Make Sita with saffron clothes. Would that be a defining feature? So make so change her clothes to saffron color. I mean, Sita doesn't have any defining features. Yeah, but you guys like here. Yeah, please make it clear so that people will know how. What's what's Sita's defining features? Should we like <gasps> fire? Make her lit on fire. How about that? Should be like should 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 she have like fire around her? Is that a def should that be it? What do you guys think? Should Sita be on fire? Fap fap. Saffron doesn't necessarily mean it's her. I think if she's on fire, that's a defining feature. Defining feature of Sita is that she has Ravana with ten heads standing around them. No, I think the fire would be cool. Great idea. Yes, yes, use fire. Fire, Sita is on fire. She would be f in flames. Yeah, not bad idea. Exact, yeah. Guys, I'm a genius. I came up with that. Nice foot bracelets. It doesn't matter if they, do, okay, would people get the fire reference? Well, I mean, if they don't, then they will ask why she's on fire and they will see the story of Sita and it would be clear. I mean, who else was on fire? Like, it would be definitely Sita and nobody else on Sita. Like, if anybody wants to know, it would be Sita that is, uh, like, on fire. No, the tattoo idea is, like, too modern. Like, who, like, do the Hindu, like, people would, like, ah, oh, love Ram and they're, like, they wouldn't do that. I don't know. What are you talking about? Fire wouldn't be a defining feature. Sita's famous story is when she was like set on fire. Literally, like that would be the most defining feature of Sita. I think she is, and it would be so easy to add here. You could just have like flames around her. I think that would be so hot, actually. Yeah, you guys agree? Who the hell is Sati? Sati was also on fire. Why are you? Why are you keep burning your woman? God damn you! Who's Sati? Why does it sound like Sita? Sati? Stop burning people! Oh, another person? Hol Holika was also as fire? Okay, okay, fine. Sita is the most famous person that was set on fire, okay? I don't know, I think it's... Like, if that's not, a, if that's not an identifying feature, I don't know what else Sati was... Why are you burning all your women? What the hell is wrong with you? Fire wasn't Sita pulled into the ground. That was the end of the story. That was the, in the middle of the story. She was set on fire. The end of her story. She was pulled into the ground. I 
I don't know. I think fire is cool. Okay, saffron, sorry, with fire. So make her... Well, she can't have sorry on. She's, like, getting it on with Kelly. But we make, like, her clothes saffron. And we're putting it on fire... Yeah, Sita was on fire. Lesbian couples of India would love this. Okay, we'll put Sita on fire. I think. Sati is Shiva's wife. She went on fire to save Shiva. Everybody just catches fire in India, apparently. All right. I don't think Sati is famous. Who cares about Sati? She's not as famous as Sita, okay? When you see somebody on fire... Next to Kelly, the first thing that comes to your mind is Sita. If that's not a defining feature of Sita, then Sita doesn't have any other defining features, okay? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There's no other defining features, okay? A quiet renaissance is saying fire is a great idea, or you could have the earth opening up under them. Yeah, that would be too many elements under the video. And, and here's the thing, okay? The fact that this could be any woman, and then we, by putting her on fire, she ends up being only the potential free woman in Hinduism, it's already defining feature enough, okay? The fact that it doesn't narrow it down to a Sita, like, people could just ask by then, like, who is this? We just, the art would be labeled, okay? You know, like, you see an art, and you don't like, who is this depicting? And you see the label on the art, and like, oh, it's depicting this person. And then you realize who it's depicting? Okay, so the name of the art will be clear enough who these people are. But we'll put her on fire just in case, okay? Don't be that picky, guys. No, you guys don't like it. Fire is considered the purest thing that cannot be contaminated by anything in Hindu mythology. Yeah, so by putting her on fire, we're making it clear that she's also in Hindu mythology. Like, then people could clarify which Hindu mythology, which, which character in Hindu mythology, and they ask, or like, oh yeah, she's Sita. Like, that's, that's all we need to do. Sita's dad name is Janak, and mom's name is Mathil, uh, and her nickname is Janaki, which means daughter of Janak. And Mathila, you can make a tattoo of... Not... I don't know, the only... Again, I don't know. That's too much. Hey, Armin, draw a saffron sari lying around on the floor like she removed it. Maybe. Susanna, you let me know what you think. There's too many elements, though, on the, on the art, though. Oh, a golden deer is another identifying feature of Sita, part of the story. Golden deer. <gasps> Guys, golden deer. Where do we put the golden deer? Golden deer, is that true? Can we put a golden deer behind them? This is going to delay the art, by the way. And we need to pay the artist a bit more because we're adding like a huge other character. We're adding like a major character. Oh, guys, what if we put a golden deer, like, as a jewelry or something? Just a subtle hint. Instead of, like, adding a whole golden deer, because, guys, that would be, like, an extra. Like, we have to pay the artist more to, like, draw a deer. And it's going to really delay the process. So what if we just add the jewelry? Do a Google image search of Indian comic book, Sita, Daughter of the Earth. It has images of Sita's hair jewelry and her sari that might... Hair jewelry. No, we're not going to add sari. She needs to be like... She's like getting ready to do stuff with Kelly. So she's not going to have her sari on, okay? It needs to be sexy. But hair jewelry, maybe. Thank you so... Oh, by the way, Turtle, thank you so much for the super chat. I almost forgot to thank you. Uh, Sita is portrayed as a submissive woman. She is a pl uh, she's a plot device, so there is no defining feature. Well, there is a defi okay. Her defining feature now, from now on, is that she married Callie. Okay, we're adding that to the story. Golden deer, looking at them again. That's going to be like a, a huge other change to the art. I think like maybe golden, a subtle jewelry with a golden deer on it like just a subtle hint that this is sita without like making it a big deal but okay the reason why i don't want to put ram here is because they both left their husbands in this scenario okay the ram has ram was abusive ram was abused we're not going to celebrate ram here okay 
Ram was abusive to Sita, um, and she left him, and now she's with Kali. So that's why we're not, we don't want to put like, yeah, Ram is going to go marry Muhammad. We're going to have that. That's coming after this one, okay? Ram and Sita are separated. Sita is with Kali now, and Ram is going to be with Muhammad. The one that is coming after this is going to be Ram and Muhammad. I don't know what that means. Yeah, exactly. Screw Ram. Ramya is saying screw Ram. We don't need him. No, no. <laughs> Christ is like, show a Ram in the background fuming over his ex-wife getting it on. <laughs> no, Ram is Ram is, oh, is okay. He, he found Muhammad and he fell in love with Muhammad. A bracelet around her upper arm right below the rainbow band of a golden deer. Yes, this is the best idea. Torel, a bracelet around her upper arm right below the rainbow band of a golden deer perfect and she's on fire or not on fire 